a little serious, a little silly, a perfect balance to start your day. Family Life Mornings. I used to love spelling bees. And oh, yeah. Kind of thing. Uh-huh. It's fun. There's a word over the weekend, though, that I, I, I don't know, it just kind of confused me because I didn't know if the word included a, 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 an elemento. Um, this certain that letter, that letter that one letter right. always throws me off. Elemento, right from like the ABC song. Yeah, Elemento. Well, good news, yeah. they've rewritten the whole thing. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V, W, X, Y, Z. I'm not sure how I feel about wow. this. Wow, <laughs> so Elemento's not one letter, huh? It's, oh. it's not one letter, oh. and apparently, even though we all figured it out, people question <laughs> that that kids today right. won't be able to, and so right. it's kind of a... Wow, that really throws re- the, yeah. the rhythm off. Wow. I, I'm not sure how I feel about the ABC song being rewritten, you know? Well, at least the lyrics are still the same. <laughs> <laughs> true. If they added more letters, I'd be really upset. Strong, like a cup of dark coffee. Okay, guys, you can stop flexing your muscles now. This is Family Life Mornings. We human beings are driving squirrels nuts. Oh, would they have been interviewed? Uh, well, I'll tell you what's <laughs> happening. Uh, years ago, I didn't know this, but years ago, acorns used to be a staple in the diet of Native Americans. Huh. Uh, it was a big part of what they ate. Recently, researchers have just started dubbing acorns as a healthy superfood. Recipes are popping up for acorn coffee, Mm -hmm. acorn bread, acorn crackers. Mm -hmm. That's bad news for the squirrels because humans are now collecting acorns. Mm. A squirrel needs a little over 100 acorns to survive the winter. And they're having a hard time finding them now because we are gathering them up and keeping them for ourselves. I've noticed that. It's funny you should bring that up. It's just driving recently. Every time, you know, a squirrel, like, cross the road, yeah. stares at me like, what are you doing? <laughs> you know, uh-huh. and, then, and then it scoots yeah. to the other side and then scoots back. And, and this look on the squirrel's face, it looks really... No, it's it, just how they look at you. <laughs> it's how we all look at you. <laughs> I see that a lot. That look is yeah. really familiar. Always here first thing. And no funky morning breath. Family Life Mornings. Uh, You take some clothing into a consignment shop, and the idea, you know, you want to get some money back for that. But as shoppers at a consignment shop, you go in there looking for a good deal on on something that's uh, pretty good. And you find a coat, and you certainly don't expect to pay $7,000 in a consignment shop for a store. (laughs) That would be crazy. It would. So why would this coat be worth $7,000? Well, the workers at the store were uh, trying to, uh, you know, they were going through this coat to then put it on the rack. And they reached in the pocket and found seven thousand dollars in cash. Oh, Whoa. in the oh. pocket of this coat. Now they did find the owner and mm-hmm. gave the money back to the owner. And the owner says, "Oh yeah, that's right. I put seven thousand dollars in my pocket and forgot." I, I know who what you're thinking. Who forgets that? <laughs> exactly. I mean, that's, that's like who forgets that wow. they have seven thousand dollars? A in ten dollar bill, maybe. Right. I mean, yeah, exactly. You take right. your winter coat out this time, and oh, remember that five dollar yes. bill? But seven thousand dollars? Who does that? Uh, nobody. Well, one person. We're so glad you're waking up with Family Life Mornings. It's nice to start a day with you. We're Family Life. So you exercise, you eat right, you want to burn fat, right? Lose some weight, get healthy. But where does the fat go? Have you ever thought about that? Here, I got some right here. (laughs) No, it didn't go to you. Like when it leaves your body. This I just learned. When your body burns fat, Uh it produces two byproducts water and carbon dioxide okay. which when you breathe out right. that's what comes out wow it comes mm. out through your breath I didn't when know you that. Ex- i know i didn't know that either that explains all that heavy breathing at the gym oh. people are just trying to <laughs> <laughs> it's coming up it's definitely coming out now <laughs> you're listening to family life mornings with steve Therese, and randy the perfect trio to start your day with i've got an idea for an invention an invention that's going to make lots and lots and lots of money okay go ahead has to do with my car, you know, because sometimes you see somebody you know and you just want to say hi to mm-hmm. them, right? You right. want to give a little toot toot from your car. You want something like this. <laughs> but then you realize your car only makes this sound. 
All which right. scares your friend. Nobody likes that, right? Right, right? And then there's also the reverse situation. Like when you really need to warn somebody or you really want to you want to feel some presence when you press that horn. You want this. But instead, your car only does this. Which is not quite as intimidating, right? Hi there. So I would like a pressure sensitive horn oh. that if you want the beep beep it's uh-huh. just like a little tap with your thumb and you right. get a nice little you know toot toot right. and then if you really need to say this to somebody then you really wallop it in the middle and they'll get the point you know so i, I just you know i feel like gr- maybe this would be no, a thing great idea know? i need you to work on something else as well you know uh-huh. like when you're in your front yard yeah. And you're working and you're busy and someone uh-huh. hocks the horn on the way by yeah. and you automatically turn around and wave and you're, right. <laughs> you have no idea who it was. You know? <laughs> hi right. there, hi there. Who, yeah. <laughs> I have no idea who that just was. Horn that screams, <laughs> it's Randy! Exactly! <laughs> a horn with a name. Family Life Mornings with Steve, Therese, and Randy. Thanks for making us part of your day. We're a friend you can turn to. A French woman had a small 10 by 8 inch painting hanging in her kitchen for for many years and she thought it was just a religious painting and not really worth anything but someone saw it and suggested that she get it appraised that happened earlier this year and uh it was appraised for just under eight million dollars sunday it went on the auction block and i think the appraisal guy got it wrong too because it sold for $26.8 million. Even with that little bit of sauce splashed over in the corner there. Wow. <laughs> 26 point, there's only 11 wow. paintings of this artist huh. in existence wow. in the world. So this was, And she has one of them. And it was, so it was in her kitchen. It right? was in, hanging in her kitchen. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So now go to your refrigerator, and perhaps that piece of artwork that's up there with the magnet, uh-huh. that, that could be worth $29 million or more sometime. Oh, it already is. Family Life Mornings with Steve, Therese, and Randy. Who knew a weekday morning could be this fun? Ten Mile Run is nothing for this guy. I mean, he's a pretty avid runner, right? right. His name is Tyler. In fact, he customized his running bib uh-huh. to say, Jesus saves. Cool. Because you know, I guess you can write stuff on your bib, okay. you know. And so uh, he thought it might inspire someone who's in the crowd watching him run. Sure. Jesus saves. Well, then Tyler had a heart attack. He collapses in the middle of the race and Mm. a bunch of people run over to him and start doing CPR. They're trying to save his life. The paramedics come. He's going to be fine. But the the person who actually ended up performing the life-saving CPR, Jesus Bueno. Seriously. So not only does Jesus save, (laughs) but Jesus Jesus saves saves too. (laughs) A new day. Full of new promise. Thanks for letting us be a part of it. Family Life Mornings. Well, I'm so thankful that this church in Alabama has a live stream. Otherwise, (laughs) we would have missed this moment when there was a scream from the balcony. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us turn and greet one another with signs of Christ's love. Just so you'll know, the scream you heard is because a squirrel came through our stained glass window in the balcony and has, has entered the balcony and is encouraging our members up there to get a little more, well, a little more spirited than usual. <laughs> and um, so we're, I, I like that we're now trying to trap it with an offering plate. Um, <laughs> and so... Um, Okay, it's still going on. Um, We're hoping this will come to a resolution. If you have any squirrel capturing skill, please, if that's your spiritual gift, move to the balcony and assist in the hunt. Now, let's sing our way back from passing the piece. <laughs> oh, oh, man, it just makes you laugh. And uh, and they did get the squirrel out. Good. Some deacons kind of, you know, hustled behind it, and uh, it, it made its way back out the door. But, boy, it just makes you realize sometimes you just got to roll with what comes your way, you know. And if you if you get to church early, you don't have to sit in the balcony. I'm right. just saying. Yeah. You know, there's lots of seats up front. 
Family Life Mornings. Starting your day off with a smile. You might not be able to get it off your face for the rest of the day. Family Life. Would you go someplace on vacation just to see their chickens? Hmm. <laughs> I, I don't think so. Probably, yeah. My initial <laughs> really? reaction would be probably some people, not. Some people really love chickens. Fitzgerald, yeah. Georgia is the town. They're uh-huh. building a 62-foot-tall chicken topiary okay. to draw visitors. They've got these wild Burmese chickens, mm-hmm. which I guess are kind of these, you know, bougie, fancy, fluffy, you know, the kind of chickens you Instagram. And they just kind of run free all over huh. the town. So they're hoping people will come to be able to stay in the town of chickens. But you might wonder, what is there to do? Well... I hope, town. I hope, if there, as long as there's chickens, I hope they have that uh, parade where the chickens go from one side of the street to the other side of the street. And then we all stand around and go, why did they do that? <laughs> well, we finally have the answer to that question. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that would be worth a trip to Fitzgerald, Georgia for. <laughs> you know we're friends because we're already on a first name basis. It's Family Life Mornings with Steve, Therese, and Randy from Family Life. A friend you can turn to. A flying fish what? in Kansas? Whoa. What? Yeah, this is quite a fish story. Okay, this guy, William, he's driving on the highway. He sees a hawk by the side of the road. All right. And all of a sudden, the hawk takes off. And it looks like it's going to come right at William's windshield. So he's like, whoa. And right. the, the bird's like trying to carry something, but he can't. And then it drops. And William's like, whew, close call. William gets home, looks at the front of his car right there next to his headlight. Yeah. A bass perched. Really? I mean, it was a bass, a not bass a perch. perched. But, right, yeah, but right, it, the yeah, bass right, right. is perched right there next wow. to the headlight. You might say it was grilled fish. Grilled oh. <laughs> Family Life Mornings. The nicest way to start your day on Family Life. I think there could be anything new with electricity until I read this thing about it. a team of 11th grade students have come up with a new way to generate electricity, and it's from sound. It actually works the opposite of a standard musical speaker. So rather than using power to emit sound, Uh the inside of the speaker is equipped with magnets and coils that generate electricity whenever they're hit by sound waves. So I'm just thinking, this is an idea that I have. Uh Because I don't know if you've noticed this, but I've been known to emit sounds that really have not a whole lot of other use. Um, (laughs) Words words and stuff, you know, Mm, that sometimes don't really mean a whole lot. So Uh I'm thinking I could be quite the resource. (laughs) I like could just emit power. sounds <laughs> and cause electricity. My new nit- nickname could be Sparky. <laughs> Sparky Smith. I like it. You'll always wake up on the right side of the bed when you start your day with Steve, Therese, and Randy. On Family Life. A friend you can turn to. Well, we've all done this, some of us more than others, and now we learn that this annoying habit is actually beneficial to you. You will live longer Happier lives if you are consistently late for appointments. This is funny. Uh, People who are running late are usually calmer, and that laid-back attitude Uh adds years to your life. So, guys, Mm -hmm. I'll see you around 9 o'clock Monday morning. (laughs) Oh, wow. (laughs) Audrey's going to live a long, long time. (laughs) Oh, ouch. Well, you could start your day without Steve, Therese, and Randy, but why would you want to? We're family life. A friend you can turn to. We all know about the wildfires raging in California and the evacuations that are taking place. And as a result of what's been happening there, of the dangerous fires, heroes have emerged. Mm -hmm. Not all of them are humans. Ranchers were frantically trying to bring their stallions to safety. In fact, one of them yelled out, just get the ones we can get and get out. Well, one big black horse was brought out onto the highway to safety, but it looked into the enclosed ranch compound and saw two other horses stranded. This horse circled back around, went back in the way it had come out, got the two horses, and showed them the way they could get out to the highway as well. And he led them to safety. Now, that's what I call a good neighbor. (laughs) (laughs) Because three hosts are better than one. Or two, for that matter. This is Family Life, and we are a friend you can turn to.